Good afternoon everybody, it's Green from Unearthed and I'm going to be doing something slightly different in the next couple of months where we're going to be looking at some metal detecting finds and what you guys can make out in the field. A rather detailed look each week at different finds from different periods. So as you can see, this week we've got a selection of Roman brooches that I've, uh, I've been lucky enough to find over the years. Unfortunately, um, or fortunately, whichever way you look at it, most of my brooches have gone to the farmers. Uh, we have a farmer friend that collects Roman brooches and three quarters of my Roman brooches over the years have gone to him. Um, and, he, you know, it's coming off his land, it's coming off his farm, so he has a right to, to collect them. But we've got a small selection here uh, and I'm going to go through some of them with you guys so you can sort of like identify what they are. If you guys come across them in the field you'll probably have an idea what it's going to be but there's a vast array of different types of Roman brooches so for starters we'll have a look at this one um, I found this a couple of years ago minus its pin its pin would have been on here but it's a classic brooch um, named a bird lip brooch and I think it's been lined uh, or it's been in the hands of the Celts these lovely designs classic Celtic designs I would say late, early first century, maybe maybe into the Celtic Iron Age period, but they're a very desirable brooch. Um, if you find the bottom half of this, you're going to wonder what it is. So you're going to look out for the detail, and that's what they look like when they're full. Talking about the bottom end of one, here's another example, which is sadly broken, as you can see here, but that would have been another bird lip brooch. Classic lines. Lovely design and a fantastic patina, just a pity it's broken. So that's one type of brooch. Another one is this one here. Don't know if you guys can see that. That's actually called a fly brooch. It's got blue enamel in on its wings and it would have been to copy a fly. So the Romans would have wore these. It would have been beautiful silver inlay here, if I can just point to you, it would have had silver here, blue wings, the enamel would have been really bright and whoever had wore this would have been, you know, it would have, it would have shown really brightly on their cloak. So that's a, that's a fly brooch. Next to the fly brooch we have another animal which is a bird, minus its head which is a real shame, the plowers took the head. But look at the detail in that, again this would have had enamel, I think this uh, remains of red in there, they would have had other colours. Obviously the pin's missing, sadly. The pin would have gone across here. But that's another example of Roman brooches that you can find in Britain. So that's a, a bird brooch, probably a dove or something similar. Now we come across to a big chunky brooch, a real clonking uh, beast of a brooch, which is the crossbow, crossbow brooch. Minus its pin again, sadly. But that's a really nice, desirable brooch. The foot of the brooch has got a little chip missing out of it here, as you can see. But there is some detail on that, and they really are a desirable find. Quite a bit later than the birdlip brooches, probably 3rd, 4th century. But that's a really nice artefact to find. Then we have other brooches, like this one, which is rather interesting. This is full. This is a really early brooch. Um, early Roman, probably late, I would say, Iron Age. Full, full with a pin on. As you can see, that probably still works, believe it or not. That took some cleaning. You can see the rust stains on it. Uh, I don't know if Melanie can zoom in on that. You can see the rust stains on there. That still needs some attention. That's a really desirable brooch. It's one of my favourite, that. Very simplistic brooch, but effective and full with its pin on. We have other brooches as well that we find from time to time, like this little brooch here, like a little disc brooch, if you will. That's got... Uh, what looks like the design of a wagon wheel on. Now, I'm sure I read somewhere, and I may be wrong, but they did produce these brooches for the, for the centre bit to turn round like a wheel. This can't because obviously it's corroded and, and, and rusted over the years, but I, I just wonder if that would have ever turned. That's got lovely patina on it underneath. That would have been gold, I guess. You can see stat, I can see traces of gold gilding on this on this little brooch. Well, that's a lovely little brooch. That I only found that a couple of years back. Um, so it gives you another example of what can be found. Now, uh, let's have a look at this one. This is an interesting one. Again, it's a Roman brooch. Now, if you ever come across this in the field, which some of you guys might, you'll think, what the heck is it? 
you can see the little dots all over it. It's actually a Roman sandal. So it's a brooch um, made to look like a Roman sandal. So it's a sandal brooch. Um, that's quite an interesting one. That was found in Norfolk some years ago. It's the only ever one I've found. So that's quite an interesting brooch. So the sandal brooch, if you ever come across one of them, at least you guys can see that and maybe um, hopefully a bit of identify. I think it would have had a loop on the top of here as well. That's broken, sadly. Interesting little brooch. This one's from Cumbria. Um, heavily silvered, actually, this brooch. It's a knee brooch. We class them as knee brooches. There's probably another name for them, but um, uh, knee brooch is what it is to me. Uh, but, it's you know, it's quite a little bit different to the rest. It's heavily heavily silvered or tinned. Quite a nice little brooch from Cumbria. Uh, quite an early one as well, 1st, 2nd century. So that's that one. Uh, there's another one here that still requires some cleaning. I only found this recently. This is an umbernate brooch. Sadly, some of the lugs have broke off it. They've had the same lugs all the way around there. But what's striking about this brooch is the beautiful silver sort of white and blue enamelling all the way around it. So a really nice brooch, but just a shame that the plough over the years has took the lugs off. So what have we got? One, two, three lugs remaining, three missing. Half and half. Pin sadly is gone. The pin would have gone across the back. But if you ever come across chunks of these or art, uh, party facts are full, at least it gives you some idea of what these are. This is also an interesting one. Um, again, I only found this relatively uh, recently. This is heavily silvered again, and it's quite a heavy brooch. It's like a dolphin type um, brooch. It's really got lovely design. It's got lovely segments down it, as you can see. I don't know if you can, well, you can zoom in on that, but that's really nice. It's got really a lot of uh, heavy uh, silvering on this brooch. So that would have looked really pretty when it was uh, actually made maybe 1900 years back. So that gives you an idea of the selection of brooches that can come up in English soil. Um, Another one here is a target brooch. We think it's like a disc brooch type, but if you look at this one, it's got lovely red enamel on. It would have probably had a lot of colouring in the middle over the years. That's quite a nice brooch. No pin again, sadly. And we found this over the years. We found many, many brooches. Like I said, I must have found 80 and 90 Roman brooches over the years. And it's only recently that they've been coming up with pins on, which is interesting. So we've got a penangular brooch next. Again, Iron Age type um, early Roman, uh, you can see a lot of corrosion on this brooch, but it's full, the pin's still there, it will take a degree of cleaning to get this right, um, but it's a lovely brooch, um, an annular brooch is completely circular, a penannular is one with a, a split, so it's not fully complete, so I think, if I'm right, that's not fully complete because of that, well, the only thing that's left in that is probably a re remains of a bit of rust or dirt, um, I don't know if you guys can see that better. That's better there, Mel. So yes, the penannular brooch. Quite an early, early brooch. Like I said, first century job. The pin, believe it or not, is still sharp. How amazing that is. And what we found is we went through a period of pulling up Roman brooches with pins on. So this is another one, like a swordfish type brooch. Uh, I think, I think I found this only a couple of years, not even a couple of years back, a year or so back. Like a little fibula type. Um, Pin, again, pin still sharp. Stunning little brooch. Again, it's got stains on it. Classic stains. South Yorkshire stains. North Lincolnshire type stains. The soil's heavily um, laden with iron. But that's a beautiful, beautiful brooch. It really is. That'll come up really nice that when it's when it's finally finished and cleaned. So that just gives you an idea. Of, uh, another one before we disappear off the subject of brooches is this enormous type brooch. Again, sadly the pin's gone. But classic lines, you'd almost think it's been worked by the hand of a Celt. I think the Iron Age guys had all of this. I think this is probably Iron Age rather than Roman. But what's striking about it is these two dimples. There's a, a centre one there, would probably would have had a stone on, and another one here. But it's a monstrous thing, it really is. Um, if I put that alongside the crossbow brooch, it's as big if not bigger, as you can see. So, you know, if you, if you guys pull these things out the ground, from time to time you will. If you stick at it and you get the right permission, you'll find these things. It gives you an idea of what can be found in the English soil. And these are wonderful. Some of these are wonderful brooches and they uh, give me hours of joy looking at them and trying cleaning them. But this is the first of this type I've ever found. I'm convinced it is 
Celtic. Early Roman Celtic for sure. So I hope that helps. I'm going to do this theme every week with different periods of different artefacts. So we'll cover things like Viking, Saxon, Medieval, and then we'll go over to the coinage side of things. But um, that just gives you a flavour of the type of brooches you can find out there, guys. Don't give up. It will come. So I hope that helps. Um, and we'll try to do another video similar to this, um, hopefully, next week. Okay, folks, I hope that helps. Um, give us some positive feedback if you can. Uh, I hope it's worthwhile doing it. If you think it's worthwhile doing it, let me know on the uh, YouTube feed. Okay, see you next week.